just for fun. Yeah. What was the question? The question was, uh, where would be the best places for this in New Hampshire? No. It's everywhere. It seems to be the, the same everywhere. You get in a smaller town, they're going to handle it more on a private basis. There's going to be more people who, uh, who will uh, shun you in a local, local community. In a larger community, people won't know you as much. There will be more people who will be lucky. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that uh, Cheshire County is a really good place. It doesn't matter if you're a teen. If only in Cheshire County, you'll end up in the Cheshire County <laughs> Spiritual Retreat, the King Spiritual Retreat, uh, which, you know, compared to what I, the stories I've heard about Manchester's Valley Street, it's like night and day uh, in comparison. And you've spent time in both uh, places in people, would you say that's a, that's a somewhat accurate comparison? Uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's, yeah, pretty, very night and day. I mean, uh, old facility is Valley Street, new facility, Cheshire County, So to me, that, if you're doing civil disobedience, that's one of the most important things. Yeah, I'm going to play the role of Tom Campbell. So I see that as the only way we're going to bring down the government. Um, if they don't have more money and they can't do their wars, they come to the Obama here, and all that stuff. But my question is, how the places do not pay? I mean, I'm a teacher. Are you all self-employed or something? Or okay. Well, I haven't started that yet, but uh, maybe there's someone else on the panel who I plan on doing that in the near future, and I, I will pay a portion of it because I, you know, it's the only way to support building roads and things. But I don't support the school system. I don't support other things that we do. Is there anyone here who wants to comment on that? Uh, that question. Well, uh, we did try that thing at property taxes for a while, but uh, the, they were going to turn off our water, so we decided on them. <laughs> but, yeah, well, might as well get back and be, be good for Do you think they would have done it differently had you paid a portion instead of a 0%? Or were you paying a portion? Well, in our city, they, if you don't pay a portion, they just charge the interest on the part you have to pay. Right, but would they have cut your water off, do you think, oh, uh, paying 30% or something? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. <laughs> uh, Daryl has a comment. Yeah, so to answer Pam's question about people that have day jobs and don't want to fund the government wars, uh, there's a neat little trick that you can do when you fill out your W-4 down in, I believe it's line 7, write the word exempt, and then they do not take out federal income tax. They still take out the Medicare and Socialist Security but they don't take out the income tax that makes the income not taxable. So then you generally get whatever amount they steal from you of Medicare and Social Security back. So it still requires you to file just right exempt. I've been doing it for several years. Uh, so, we are just about out of time. There are a couple things I want to add for anybody who just came in. Please go see Rich Paul after you're done with the Porcupine Freedom Festival. He'd love to see you. He's in the King's Spiritual Retreat, a.k.a. the Cheshire House of Corrections. You can go see him for up to a half an hour, uh, and he's available from 9 to noon, from 1 to 2.30, uh, and from 6 to 9, which, by the way, is another comparison to Valley Street Jail in Manchester. In Valley Street, you can only visit somebody for a two-hour window, once per week, on one particular day. So you go sit two people at a time max at uh, Cheshire. You have a whole group of people in the room to visit. So if a bunch of you are there at once, four or five of you can go in and visit at one time. And you can go seven days a week. So it's like night and day between these two uh, jails. And I want to say thank you for coming and listening to us today. I uh, really appreciate it. If you want to ask us more questions, can you guys build out for a little bit? And the audience will be out there. Maybe have some food. So feel free to come on up and ask any of the questions you have. And when you get a chance to go out and have a demonstration, you'll probably be able to get that. You'll see it on the table. It's very traditional. We've got the convention coming up in November. And a lot of these very same people will be attending uh, the convention. It's November 1st through the 3rd. It's going to be the first one. I don't expect it to be in the theater's largest
Core Fest, but it's going to be a hotel style uh, event where we'll have four panel discussions and great speeches, and you'll get the chance to explore Keene. Maybe we'll go visit the Kent's Spiritual Retreat, and uh, it's, you'll have a big group visit the Bridge Ball or something like that. Do some Robin voting, and uh, again, thanks so much for coming to the Core Fest. You, by the way, here this for the first time. First time at the Core Fest. Just love to see this. It's absolutely incredible. Thank you for doing this and being here with us today.